Authorities are ramping up their efforts to find suspects tied to the Brussels terror attacks. I'm Kenneth Craig with the latest coming up. Many gathered today in Jessamine County as a Louisville mother and her two children are laid to rest. Tickets are still available to the UK Oop Sweet 16 game this evening. We'll tell you how you can get them coming up. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. And I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. There is new information this midday about the victims in Tuesday's attacks in Brussels. We have learned that at least two Americans were killed. Meanwhile, police there are frantically searching for the terrorist responsible. Kenneth Craig has the latest from Brussels. It's our top story at noon. Ongoing raids in Belgium have netted at least six arrests linked to Tuesday's airport and subway bombings. Police approached one man who was sitting with a young girl at this bus stop. They told him to, to stop. He tried to do something. Boom, boom. Two shots. Other raids, like this one in Brussels, may also be connected to last year's bombing attacks in Paris, which have been linked to this week's attacks in Belgium. Members of law enforcement are looking for two people, one seen with the two suicide bombers at the airport, the other seen with the bomber at the subway station. At least two Americans are among the dead, but their identities have not been released. Separately, CBS News has confirmed Dutch siblings Alexander and Sasha Penchowski, who lived in New York, were killed. The first blast went off over to my right. Mason Wells is a 19-year-old Mormon missionary who was severely burned in the airport bombing. I was covered in the a fair amount of blood and um, not necessarily mine even. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry laid a wreath in Brussels to express his condolences to the Belgian people. We will continue to provide any assistance necessary in investigating these heinous acts of terrorism. At least 10 FBI agents are in Brussels to help with the investigation. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Brussels, Belgium. And meanwhile, the family of a Lexington native is still waiting to hear what happened to their loved ones in the wake of the terror attacks. Stephanie Schultz and her husband Justin were in the Brussels airport Tuesday when two bombs went off. The Schultz haven't been seen since, and their families say they've been getting mixed information. Stephanie's aunt, Betty Newsom, says her brother in law arrived in Brussels yesterday. She says the Belgian government is making search efforts for survivors tough. You can find the latest on the Belgian attacks on WKYT.com. And in other news at noon, a final goodbye to a Kentucky mother and her two children who were murdered in their Louisville home. Police say Brad Hedinger killed his wife, Billy, and their two kids before turning the gun on himself. A funeral service was held for Billy and her two children, five-year-old Colin and four-year-old Courtney, this morning in Nicholasville. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is in Jessamine County now to tell us how they're being remembered. A sad day in Jessamine County as many stepped inside Betson West Funeral Home to say goodbye to a Louisville mother and her two young children. Louisville mother Billy Jo Hettinger was from this area. She graduated from East Jessamine High School. They called her BJ. BJ, five year old Colin, and four year old Courtney were found shot to death inside their burning Louisville home on Sunday afternoon. Police believe her husband, Brad Hettinger, shot his family and then set multiple fires throughout the home before shooting himself. This community has come together, creating a fundraising page to cover memorial costs. And tomorrow, East Chessman High, class of 2001, is holding a memorial for the family. It's certainly an emotional day for many here in the community. After leaving the funeral home, BJ and her two children were laid to rest at Camp Nelson. In Jessamine County, Caitlin Sentner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you very much. We have put up a link for more information about the memorial on WKYT.com. A trial date has been set for three people accused of killing a U.K. student last year. Roman Gonzalez, Justin Smith, and Ephraim Diaz are charged in the shooting death of Jonathan Kruger during a robbery near Maxwell Street in April of last year. WKYT's Mark Barber is outside the Fayette County Courthouse now with the very latest on the case. Mark. The trial for the three men who are accused of murdering Jonathan Kruger will start next year nearly two years after the U.K. student was shot and killed. 
The judge is planning on the trial lasting four weeks. Attorneys say it will nearly take a year for the case to go to trial because two of the suspects, Ephraim Diaz and Justin Smith, are eligible for the death penalty. Roman Gonzalez was a juvenile during the shooting, so the maximum penalty that he could face is life in prison. Attorneys say there is a lot on the line, and they need the extra time to prepare because they're still evaluating the lab's test results. The three men have been in jail since April, when Kruger was shot and killed during a robbery near UK's campus. Diaz's attorney thinks the trial will show Gonzalez shot and killed the 22-year-old. There's nothing that uh, indicates that our client, Mr. Diaz, uh, pulled the trigger or shot anybody. Uh, uh, it appears that uh, Mr. Kruger was, was killed with a 9 millimeter. Uh, our client does not have a 9 millimeter. Uh, uh, there was a 9 millimeter that's been recovered. That's uh, relates back to another defendant. The judge does not want there to be any surprises, so in three months there will be another status hearing to review the murder case one last time. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. And last month, the judge denied bond for Diaz and Smith and set a $1 million bond for Gonzalez. Well, showers and storms that pass through the bluegrass are making temperatures cooler here at midday. Things are looking up for the Easter weekend, though, and WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our first alert weather center with a look ahead. Micah? Yeah, it's still pretty chilly outside. We're holding on to temperatures there in the 40s across the region. It's going to be hard pressed for these to get much above 50 degrees later on this afternoon. Most of us, virtually all of us, will stay below that. You can see we're at 40 degrees now in Lexington. Now we have the drizzle out and about. It's not a good looking day whatsoever. And we're going to be seeing the rest of the day holding on to mostly cloudy skies. It's going to look like this, kind of gray out and about. And that's the way it's just been with that drizzle outside. Now, as we go off into your weekend, it's going to be totally different. 64 degrees there on Saturday. We get into Sunday, it's 68 to about 73, depending on where you are. And we're looking for some rain. Most of the rain is late in the day on Sunday. And you say, well, when is that? Because I have an Easter egg hunt going on at 4 p.m. Well, I'm going to show you that with an hour by hour forecast coming up in a few minutes. All right. I don't think you'll get by with just one Easter egg hunt, Micah. Thank you. If you have ever dreamed about being a contestant on a reality TV show, well, here's your chance. The CBS show Big Brother is hosting open casting calls in Lexington this afternoon. WKYT's Jim Caldwell is live at Sleep Outfitters at Woodhill Drive with more on today's auditions. Jimmy. We are here, guys, and we are checking out these folks, getting them ready for Big Brother 18. You can already see some of them back here in line. Hey, guys, who's going to win this? This is just some of them. We've got more all the way lined up on the other side of the room here. About 50 so far, wouldn't you say, Amy? Amy is our promotions manager at the station, and... This has been a success so far, right? So far, they started lining up this morning a little bit before nine o'clock. Out Ooh. in that cold drizzle, people are serious about being the next next contestant on Big Brother. I think we have a little bit over 50 right now, and they're still coming in. The parking lot's filling up, and so we just encourage people to come out. We are here all day. We started right at noon, just a few minutes ago. We're here until four o'clock. We're at Sleep Outfitters here on Wood Hill, and it's been pretty interesting to see the first. Two contestants, people on here already, um, really trying to convince producers why they would make the next, the best next contestant on Big Brother. And you know, I would love to enter myself, but we're tied to CBS because being away from work and being away from Bill and Barb and Micah for three months would be a fantasy. But it's not going to happen for me. Well, you know, Jim. I'm glad you didn't include me in that, well, but no. you know we would all miss you. All your viewers, they would miss you dearly. But but you know I think you'd make a great contestant. I would like to win that money, and we're going to talk to uh, some of these folks here, and we're going to have much more coming up for you at 12:30. I am live at Sleep Outfitters here in Lexington. Jim, the pain is real. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's all about the money. <laughs> we'll see you in a little while. All right. The deadline to apply to audition is April 22nd. So if you can't make it out to today's auditions in Lexington, you still have time. Well, the Big Blue Nation is rallying around the UK women's basketball team ahead of its Sweet 16 matchup with Washington. It's tonight in the NCAA tournament. Now, it's pretty much a home game for the Cats since they're playing at Rupp Arena. WKYT's Mike Linden is there with more on how you can help pack the house. House. Hi, Mike. March Madness is still upon us as the University of Kentucky women's basketball team takes on the University of Washington Huskies this evening at Rupp Arena at 7 o'clock, and tickets are still available.
For the fifth time in the last seven seasons, the UK Hoops team is playing in the Sweet 16. According to UK Athletics, the lower bowl of Rupp Arena is nearly full for tonight's game, with approximately 1,000 tickets sold per day since Sunday. The women have been to the Elite Eight three times and have never played in a Final Four game. With March Madness in full swing, fans put up a sign in front of Coach Matthew Mitchell's home wishing the team good luck. With tickets still available, fans say tonight's game is can't miss basketball. I think that we should support the female basketball team um, just as we support the male basketball team. So uh, I think they're exciting games. They're fun. Um, it's fun to see the girls play every time. Tickets can be purchased at the Rupp Arena ticket office, at the Joe Craft Center, or on the University of Kentucky Athletic Department website. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. All right, Mike, thank you. And the doors open at 6 o'clock. The team will board the team bus at 520 at the Hilton in downtown Lexington. Fans are invited to come and wish the team good luck. All right, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, President Obama is turning his focus to ISIS after the historic trip to Latin America. Find out how he is working with some other world leaders to try to combat violence. Coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, history continues to be made this week in Cuba as final preparations are underway for the Rolling Stones concert in Havana. We'll have more on the significance of tonight's show next on WKYT. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. How do we put our buying power to work for you? With Power Buy, Power Financing, Power Upgrade, Power Coupon, Free TVs, and more. Hurry, because our Power Sellathon ends Tuesday. Nobody beats the rats. I'm a policeman uh, with the Versailles Police Department, uh, trying to help someone across the street. Uh, car hit me, and then I had three surgeries. They said I had to be 100% in order to return to work, but I wasn't, so I had to retire. I couldn't ask for, for you know, better help than I did get from Becker Law. A friend of mine called me a couple of months ago, and um, she needed an attorney, and I said, well, call Becker Law Offices. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bed. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1 800 Aspen Dental. Grab my lipstick. Hey, what are you doing? Getting the coats. For a half hour? Bob just got Time Warner Cable. He's getting more. More what? More than 30,000 movies and shows on demand, most for free. Look, he's DVRing like six shows at once. Let's go. Oh, this grass is so much greener than on our TV. Wear your shoes off. Because I'm on their bed. I don't want to be rude. Discover how much more is included. Are those meatballs still circulating? Switch to Time Warner Cable today and ask how you could get a $300 reward card. How do we put our buying power to work for you? Get a free lifestyle power base upgrade when you buy any premium mattress at $14.99 or more. Serta Perfect Sleeper with gel memory foam. King for a queen price, $9.99. Nobody beats the rats. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. President Obama and the first family have returned to Washington after a trip to Latin America. And now the president will turn his focus to the war on ISIS. He is set to meet with dozens of world leaders at this week's Nuclear Security Summit in Washington. That summit is meant to strengthen security measures around nuclear weapons. A U.S. official says the man many consider to be the second in command for ISIS was killed in Syria today. Just three days after President Obama's historic trip to Cuba, rock and roll history is about to be made in Havana tonight. The Rolling Stones are performing a free concert at a sports complex 
and expected 500,000 people are about to get in line. The Stones have been censored in Cuba since 1959 because their music was considered culturally subversive. But the country has since changed its tune. Band members Mick Jagger and Keith Richards say they are happy to be the first international rock group to perform live before a Cuban audience since the revolution. Probably be an interesting show there I'm tonight. I'm sure it will be amazing. Pope Francis will lead millions of Christians around the world in observing Christ's crucifixion on this Good Friday. On Holy Thursday, the Pope washed and kissed the feet of refugees of different faiths outside Rome. The Pope will celebrate Mass in St. Peter's Square on Easter Sunday. Hollywood is mourning the death of actor and comedian Gary Shandling. Police say Shandling had a medical emergency at his home and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead after suffering a heart attack. He's best known for his hit HBO series, The Larry, Sh the Larry Sanders Show. Celebrity tributes are pouring in. Comedian Steve Martin said Chandling had a, quote, beautifully unpredictable mind. While Amy Schumer tweeted, thank you for your kindness and your generosity and for making me laugh. And Ricky Gervais called him one of the most influential comedians of a generation. Gary Chandling was 66 years old. A sad and sudden loss, certainly. Well, a truck driver is behind bars this midday. He's accused of causing a crash that killed two people in southern Kentucky. We'll have the latest on that investigation coming up in a report on WKYT News at 1230. Get WKYT News and Weather Updates on 104.5 The Cat. When you play Kentucky Lottery games like Pick 3 and Pick 4, you help Kentucky college students pick up scholarship money. Feeling imagination. Funding education. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Every month, almost 200,000 people visit ForThePeople.com. They visit to learn about their legal rights concerning automobile accidents, workers' compensation, medical malpractice. You can spend all the time you want or have a live chat 24-7. You can learn about unsafe drugs and medical devices, class actions, and your consumer rights. ForThePeople.com belongs to you your consumer website, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hello, I'm Rob Romley, inviting WKYT-TV viewers on the vacation of your dreams, a land and cruise tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. We'll stay near Denali National Park and watch for wildlife on a guided park tour. Our vacation includes Anchorage, Fairbanks, the White Pass and Yukon train, and a four-night Holland America cruise through Glacier Bay and the Inside Passage. For more information, call Holiday Vacations, 1-800-826-2266. Of all the things we could do today, a world of wonder would lead the way for me and you. It's a special day. We'll touch living things, discover even more, a place to play and explore, explore. Just me and you and a whole new world. See, touch, explore together at Newport Aquarium. March is Matchup Month at your local Ford store. The reigning champ is favored again. Ford returns as America's best-selling brand. Escape is a smart choice over Honda CRV with a powerful and efficient available turbocharged EcoBoost engine, the technology to virtually park itself, and an available hands-free lift gate. Go with Ford and drive home our winner. Now get a new Escape with 0% financing for 60 months plus $2,000 trade assist cash at your local Ford store now. Set a date with the talk five days a week. Here we go. From Major Mondays. I'm pregnant. To Fearless Fridays. Make an appointment. I'm just going to the ladies room. This is live television. To share your weekdays with the talk. Does anyone have the flu? On CBS. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Boy, it is not a good looking day. This isn't the one way you want to finish off a work week, but I will tell you this we do rebound very nicely for the weekend. The weekend looks fantastic for the most part. 
Not all of it. I'm going to get into that forecast in just a few minutes. 41 degrees in Frankfurt. Lexington coming in at 40 degrees. We've actually dropped our temperatures as we've gone through the day because of the drizzle outside and the cloud cover. Colder air sinking on in. That's just the way it goes with that combo. 45 degrees there in Jackson. And Corbin coming in at 45 degrees. It is going to be hard pressed to actually get our temperatures to rise that much more. We'll get some breaks here and there as we get into the afternoon. But look at your cloud deck. These are pesky clouds. These are tough clouds to move on out and break apart. And they'll be with us for the most part the rest of the afternoon off into the evening. Good news is it's mainly dry. When I say mainly dry, I mean you're not getting showers all over the place. You're getting some drizzle here and there. It's more of a nuisance than anything else. We hit going in toward your weekend. So Saturday looks really good. Any Easter egg hunts that you just want to make for sure to stay dry in, you'll want to do it on Saturday because Sunday, here's the deal. During the sunrise service, if you're going to church, say, during the morning hours, uh, it'll be really nice. 50 degrees feels great, looks great. Then we hit noontime, and the clouds will start to appear. And what we're going to be seeing going into the afternoon is half of your afternoon will be mainly dry. And then your other half, once you get deep into the afternoon, anywhere from, say, 3 to 4 p.m. after that, that's when some rain picks up. Let me show you that on the hour-by-hour -hour forecast and how you can plan out your weekend. So this is during the morning hours there on Saturday. We're in the 30s. But look how much we rise, roughly 30 degree swing from morning to afternoon. The way you look at that and, and see that, boy, we're really jumping those temperatures, those winds will be cranking out of the south and southwest again. But still a really nice day there on Saturday. No problems whatsoever. Easter egg hunts will be just fine. All the family get-togethers on Saturday will be just fine too. Now we're talking about Sunday, and here we are at noontime on Sunday. Still nothing going on, right? But look at these clouds starting to appear. We're going to get into the afternoon, and boom, there you go. Now you're going to be getting some showers and even a few rumbles of thunder. There is 3 p.m. on Sunday. So that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame, we've been seeing these past weather models the past uh, few days really hone in on that mid-afternoon time. After that is when the rain starts to spark up and move on in. So guys, trying to plan ahead, you want to do it anytime during the weekend. Anytime before that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame on Sunday. I mean, Saturday's all good. And before that on, on Sunday, uh, looks just fine. And temperatures feel great. Remember, it's not a complete washout. So temperatures feeling good. And if you are one of those that stay dry, you've sold us on time. it. Yeah. It's all right. Now we know before the schedule. Time, yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right, Mike. Thank you. you appreciate bet. it very much. We're coming back in just a moment. Controversy as Duke gets bounced from the NCAA tournament. And the UK women with a huge night at Rob. Date Bakers next with sports. See you Sunday, April 3rd. We're back in Vegas, baby, for country music's party of the year. It's the ACM Awards with superstars Tim McGraw, Florida Georgia Live, Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Chris Stapleton, Aaron Church, Keith Urban, Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, plus a not to be missed duet with Dolly Parton and Katy Perry, and your hosts, Luke Bryan and Dirks Bentley. Join me and the new guy. At the Academy of Country Music Awards, live CBS Sunday, April 3rd, or stream it live. Your body is a finely tuned instrument. Diarrhea can throw it out of rhythm. Imodium Multi-Symptom Relief combines two powerful ingredients to relieve diarrhea faster and ease gas, cramps, and bloating. Restore rhythm with Imodium. When your type 2 diabetes numbers aren't moving in the right direction, it can be a burden. But what if you could wake up to lower blood sugar? Imagine loving your numbers. Discover Once Daily Invocana. With over 6 million prescriptions and counting, it's the number one prescribed SGLT2 inhibitor that works to lower A1C. Invokana is used along with diet and exercise to significantly lower blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. It's a once daily pill that works around the clock. Here's how. Invokana reduces the amount of sugar allowed back into the body through the kidneys and sends some sugar out through the process of urination. And while it's not for weight loss, it may help you lose weight. Invokana can cause important side effects, including dehydration, which may cause you to feel dizzy, faint, lightheaded, or weak, especially when you stand up. Other side effects may include kidney problems, genital yeast infections, urinary tract infections, changes in urination, high potassium in the blood, increases in cholesterol, or risk of bone fracture. Do not take Invokana if you have severe kidney problems or are on dialysis. Stop taking and call your doctor right away if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, or difficulty breathing or swallowing. 
tell your doctor about any medical conditions, medications you are taking, and if you have kidney or liver problems. Using Invokana with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase risk of low blood sugar. Imagine life with a lower A1C. Are you loving your numbers? There's only one Invokana. Ask your doctor about it by name. Good. Stay. Stay. Lie down. Lie down. I'd like to take this time. Oh, you Roll over. Roll over. Almost. Roll over. Good. It took Joel Silverman years to become a master dog trainer. Roll over. Good job. But only a few commands to master depositing checks at Chase ATMs. Technology designed for you, so you can easily master the way you bank. The UK women find themselves just two wins away from college basketball's Final Four. But first things first, they've got to knock off Washington in the Sweet 16 tonight. And to this point, Matthew Mitchell's club has done an outstanding job of focusing on just one game at a time, not looking ahead. Now, you might think, hey, that's what they're supposed to do. But easier said than done when playing at Rupp and seeing the Final Four within reach. The, the first weekend's really hard because everybody... Uh, you know, you're looking down the road a little bit, and, and as a coach, I think the first weekend's so tough. Everybody in the tournament wants to make it to the Sweet 16 round. It's hard to do. It's not easy to do. And so, you know, I think there's pressure there because the kids want it so much. So this, when you get to this weekend, um, you know, there, there's, it's, it's, a, it's a very good team you're going to play, and if you don't win Friday, there's nothing to worry about on Sunday. The UK women's team in the NCAA Sweet 16 tonight at Rupp. It's a 7 o'clock tip on ESPN2. Out west late last night. Say that three times fast. Kobe Bryant there giving his love to Coach K, taking some selfies too. Um, Dylan Brooks from Oregon hits the three. 23 17 Ducks. And then how about off the scramble? At the other end, Luke Kennard with a layup. Duke up 27-26, but Brooks nails another three. 29-27, the Ducks win at 82-68. Duke is gone. Controversy at the end of the game right here. Brooks says that Coach K said, hey, you're too good of a guy to hot dog at the end of the game. Coach K didn't say anything about it. Controversy nonetheless, Oregon wins. Tonight on the Big Blue Insider, Ryan Lemon sitting in for Dick Gabriel with a preview of the UK women in the NCAA Regional Rupp Arena. That's at 6 on 630 WLAP. Live reports on the Cats as they play in the Sweet 16 coming up a little bit later, guys. But for now, that's a look at sports on this Friday. All right, thank you. I think it's all right with Barb. The Duke's out of it. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think I'm the only person <laughs> in the town who feels that way. That's okay. I'm not alone. There's You're more to fine. come in our next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. Keep it here. Surveillance video has been released of a burglary at a central Kentucky business. We are here at Sleep Outfitters in Lexington for a Big Brother 18 casting call. We've already got folks coming in left and right to possibly get on the hit CBS show. We'll show you more coming up. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $35 million and tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot $101 million.